After Texas passed a near total abortion ban, the fight is not over for some of Texas most conservative counties. Now more localities are passing their own barriers to abortion and looking to keep their residents from traveling to other states. And these restrictions go beyond even the state's strict abortion ban, banning it not just in Texas, but for the people who live here. Our Ryan Chandler brings us the latest and the legal battles ahead. Texas's total abortion ban, not the end of the road for some conservative counties. The roads to reproductive care now carry the risk of lawsuits against people looking to leave. Even though abortion is outlawed in the state of Texas, we still have here in America abortion states. After helping Lubbock pass their abortion travel ban, Mark Lee Dixon is on the road to Amarillo. He hopes they join other counties, including at least Mitchell, Cochran, Ector, and Goliad in banning its residents from seeking abortions, no matter where they are performed. Mason County and the city of Llano have also considered their own ordinances. Let's truly be a pro-life community, but we shouldn't need a piece of paper that says you can't drive on our roads to be known as a pro-life county. Before approving the ban, Lubbock leaders expressed doubt over its practicality and worries for expensive court challenges. There's a laundry list of legal issues. The ACLU says these bans are unconstitutional and unenforceable, stoking a border dispute not with Mexico, but New Mexico. Uh, if a person travels to New Mexico, for example, Amarillo can't use a backdoor way of prohibiting healthcare access in New Mexico because that is an extraterritorial prohibition on conduct. But the activists behind the effort not satisfied. While any viable options for abortion exist in Texas or elsewhere. Until abortion is outlawed from coast to coast, we've got a lot of work to do. As Ryan Chandler reporting, Lubbock is now the largest Texas city to implement a ban on travel for abortion, but the prohibition only applies to the unincorporated areas of the county, meaning the residents of the city of Austin, well, it doesn't apply to them. The county stressed the law is not enforced by law enforcement, but rather by private lawsuits. Other states have tried to enact abortion travel bans. According to Harvard Law's Bill of Health in 2021, Missouri lawmakers attempted to include in an abortion bill a provision that would have made it against the law for someone to help a Missouri resident get an out-of-state abortion. In 2022, Republicans blocked a U.S. Senate bill, the Freedom to Travel for Health Care Act of 2022, which had been introduced by Democrats to guarantee freedom to interstate travel for abortion. In April of 2023, Idaho became the first state to explicitly restrict interstate travel for abortion by passing legislation that made it a criminal offense to help a pregnant minor to obtain an abortion.